Ekonene. Ekonene. Episode 212 to 12. Tukisema like, subscribe, hit the notification button, tell a friend to tell a friend. Sindio? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, alafu tumerudisha shehe tena. <laughs> Juu mliteta mkasema kuna vitu kadhaa zile alituambia zile hamko mnamwamini. So tukamwaacha, acha tumtrap jo. <laughs> Tumlete ndio tuulize maswali. Niaje Buda? Mungu anasaidia siku zote. Yeah. Mungu ni mwema. Hmm. Tunasema kama tuko hospitali. Yeah. tuko jela atuko makaburini tuna sababu ya kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu. Okay, okay. Yeah. So umekuwaaje? Nimekuwa fit, mm. maisha yanazidi kuwa mzuri. Yeah. Jina inazidi kuvuma. Mm. Uh, na inazidi kuenjoy uh, uongozi wa William Samoei Raputo ambaye mm. boss wangu mimi kama chawa. Yeah. Chawa. Yeah, so you, you, you gotta enjoy. Eh? I'm enjoying my friend. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> yeah, kuzi you gara yako jo umeamua umeamua umia sana nayo. Yeah. Eh, na kwa wasotize jo mjue jo it's nothing but love from iko nini. Sijua mm. kuna vitu zingine zile su chekaga. Mm. But si ati sisi tuna nini. Mi na nini uh, artist na heshima sana. Harmonize. Sijua kwa sababu na gona penda sana kumenjoy na kizungu yake <laughs> na muheshimu sana. Um mimi hata shida yangu saa hizi imekuwa ni ukijana mwingine anaitwa nani? Um Director Kenny. Uh. Vile ameamua kila video lazima act. Hiyo ni kitu zaa inifurahishi. Umekuwa ukiona hizo video za TZ? Mimi sifuatiliwa TZ kwa sababu number one, mm. walinizingua nikawazingua. Mm. Wakati wote unapewa heshima, mm. ni vizuri unarudisha heshima. Yeah. Tumewa host. Yeah. Kwa muda mingi sana. Damu na anakuja, anakaa, anakuja private jet anaingia chopa, anaenda kasarani, anachukua 10 milo na anaenda and yet mm. our artist wanachangiwa bakuli. Mm, mm, mm. You want me to clap? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Mm. Nikiuliza chanzo kubwa sana ya Domo Kongo. Mm. Domo Kongo anakuja na okota hela hapa, anarudi nao Tanzania ila hali tuko na wasanii pale Mombasa, pale Mikindani, pale Mtwapa ambao wanaweza kuimba vocal kushinda Domo Kongo. So, Kenya is the only country whereby we produce artists when ni international. Leo nitafutia waire wa Tanzania. Okay okay what what to rewind Domo Kongo ni nani ni Diamond Sio ndo umesema mimi si mimi na mwambie Domo Kongo kuna msanii ambaye ana mdomo kubwa Tanzania <laughs> na ni mwasili <laughs> ya mkongolis lakini ako hapo kwa boda ya mm. Kongo Goma mm. na tunajua familia yake wanaitwa the Putulu family upande ya Kongo mm. sasa mimi nimekuambia Domo Kongo mm. yeye ame the, ame the haki industry tasnia ya mziki ya Kenya kwa kuchukua maproducer na mapresenter ambao ni wasaliti walisaliti wasani wao walisaliti nchi yao wameweka domo Kongo rotation kwa, mizi, kwa studio station zote lakini unajua wacha wacha ni, ni play the devil's advocate elections that happened last year i think ilikuwa ni azimio wali try kutumia ngoma ya sauti sol sauti sol wakasema hataki kutumika in any way politically We understand why then ko sauti sol ni the biggest like group in Kenya wakisha sema no naelewa kwa nini sasa mtu anizamwa acha ni cross the border ni lete a popular artist who, who told you that uh, au nani alikwambia sauti sol ni the biggest group in Kenya and the numbers the numbers don't lie niambie group kubwa niambie group kubwa kushinda sauti sol group sijasema artist moja naza kuambia mm. group za genge tones iko na massive following more than sauti sol Is, I'm telling you <laughs> Sauti Sol wanapita tu akitamka kidogo sana pale ni Vale Arcade inaishia pale. Wa, the Buda. mass is in the slums bro. Sijakata the mass in the slums. When ba, when punk when punk. Mi hakuna punk. Kwa level ya punk. <laughs> Buda hakuna punk hapa. Wacha tumongejea facts eh. Ha. Sauti Sol biggest fan base yao ni Madem. Madem wa ghetto ni aspirational. So if lotu nasema kuna hata vile saizi tukiongea kuna ngoza inateremshwa ghetto fulani juu ya sauti sol. <laughs> Na the same way kuna ngoza inateremshwa juu ya sauti sol ubabini. So wamekata cross. Alafu na thing ile wamekata cross pia ni age, young girls, older women. Like women in their 40s, I think even 50s. Wanasikiza sauti sol, girls so, in their teens, girls in their 20s, Buddha hawezi sauti sol biggest group Kenya. So watch I need explain. Yeah. As a leader you need kwa na kusikiza bro na kusikiza tumeka kwa game kukushinda hiyo ni yako understand hii game kukushinda hiyo ni yako buda nimekuwa media all along nimekuwa media all along 
aya mwafrika nataka unisikilize yeah being in media i manage to understand game kunishinda mimi kwa sababu si jasema na understand kukushinda lakini nasema it come mm. to experience always sema umekuwa kwa game kunishinda sasa naweza kuambia kitu moja yeah. kenya ni vitu viwili mambo mm. ni mawi yeah ubabini ugeto yes wapati your point na kuna wale wanashika wote na kuna wenye wanashika wote yeah. mwenye ame manage kushika crowd ya ghetto mm. na ame manage kushika crowd Yo, ya ubabini ni nani ni msanii anaitwa wire not wire and i mean uh, calligraph yeah calligraph leo yake ndio ubabini atapiga ngoma mm. watamsikia atarudi ghetto apiga ngoma asikike wire mm. atavuka kwa wadosi atasikika mm. atavuka ghetto atasikika kwa mm. sababu wire bado kuna ile aspect ya reggae kidogo na dance yeah, yeah, yeah. na anytime una play reggae kwa ghetto inabeba wadhi mm. na ndo anytime chukua sauti soul chukua wire na wire hajatoa ngoma of late ama hajakuwa vocal of late ingia na yeye ghetto ya madhari ingia na yeye ghetto ya kangemi ingia na yeye ghetto ya dandora weka wire na sauti soul kwa kwa kwa, kwa, kwa nini kwa kwa kwa, kwa platform kwa platform moja wire na waosha hiyo ni opinion yako hiyo skiza hiyo ni opinion yako na, na mimi ni mtu na heshimu waire kabisa najua like but sasa tunaongea juu ya 2023 saa hizi like if we talk about saa hizi wale wao wameshika ghetto na wameshika ubabini na wameshika Kenya mzima wameshika watoto wazee buda tupatiane maua pale maua inafaa kupatiana na mimi naona hiyo maua isipeanu mm. huko chukua hiyo maua pelekea calligraph na chukua hiyo maua so na, the love child kwa sasa hivi vile unabonga ni kuko na shida na sauti sol sina kuna shida na sauti sol Ah vijana wanajituma, mm. mmoja wao amenyoa kipara anajituma, mm. mwingine anavaa skata anajituma, sina shida nao. Mm. Shida yangu ni ya kwamba usiwape maua pale penye ifai wale wanafika pale Lavington kitaremka chini kidogo hapo e, Valakade ndo wana ukiingia ghetto bro, gengeto ni take over. Ukitoka about wakina Saru ukiongea kuhusu ge, ani gengeto artist wame take over ghetto, wamebeba ghetto. Alafu hiyo unajua Hata Ngesh do you know Ngesh ni mkubwa sana kushinda Saudi Soul kwa ghetto. Wewe wewe sasa <laughs> Buda sikia. Wacha <laughs> tuangalie. Hii nini iko hapa ndani? Hiyo <laughs> si, unajua mkitoka kwanza sikunywe sivute bangi. Ah ndio tunakuuliza. Unaweza yeah. kukunywe uh, 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 pombe <laughs> lakini unakunywa vitu vingine. <laughs> ni page ya mwisho ya Saudi Soul nyenye na hit sai. Ni page ya It's it's so hard to say cuz ngoma zao ni page ni page ya mjiko. Ngoma zote. Si unasikia Edu ni page ya mmoja ya Saudi Soul. Ian Yeah. Unasikia hiyo? Yeah, yeah, like jam moja sauti <laughs> sauti. Nipe jam moja. Wana vile anainua macho anaangalia kama kuku inakunywa maji. <laughs> si, <laughs> si, 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 si. Mi, Una, uh, aniambia wimbo moja sauti sauti. Sura yako ni uh-huh. hit Sura kila yako mzuri mama. Lazizi, lazizi ni over Aha. close to mm-hmm. 20 years old. Bado ni hit mpaka sasa hizi. Lazizi wangu mimi ninajua. Mm. Mm. Maneni ya manga ni mangu wa she ana nene ya makashko ni mangu ina bamba geto babu ina beba watu weka lazizi nani bwana mgeto asikizo okay zizi lazizi hata hata ni bwana zikambia kozo wa afrika lakini shehe ni ni sauti solo bao nyinyi wa mababu bwana tusiongee ni mababu sisi mababu si ni realistic so aka na msee geto kabisa rapture rapture ni mtu wetu geto kabisa nani wa rangapi ile sio gatuna yeye hapo unaweza sikia ana hamtu ngoma ya sauti sol tu na ule ni ghetto down sasa siku moja pigia rapture muulize mm. rapture mm. ni kuuliza kati ya ngesh uchukue ngesh mpeleke ghetto mm. na uchukue sauti sol mpeleke ghetto nani atasepa na kijiji ngesh atasepa na kijiji watakuja kumchekelea hatakuja ti pale jo anafurahia muziki ngojele Get- ngesh ile ni ya watu wanafurahiaga like when you make a fool unajua out of yourself so, people, people enjoy she, that tuzana iko sawa Bro, yeah, sino nakwambia like you know, the whole Africa amepata point. Mwa Africa <laughs> kuna point na point ya Africa ni fiti sana ya kwamba mm. madem wa 40 kuendelea Zee. wanatulizwa roho na sauti sol mm. na wengi wao utapata hawako get wengi wao wame manage wameenda juu wako middle class ama wako pale juu uta convince aje mtoto wa ghetto asisikilize gengeton asikilize lazizi wangu babu ni hawakongwe kama sisi babu tunasikia ni yuko aspirational hiyo ni kitu aspirational uspeleke gengeton tukibonga tukibonga juu ya lazizi tunabonga juu ya the older people lakini this younger people Ah, yako everything uh, eh yeah, akina sura yako zote yeah. zita bamba unacheki tusipingane kuhusu hiyo maneno yeah. tusipingane kuache hiyo kwa sababu nane mimi unajua vita zangu sishindwi si mwa Afrika nimekwambia sauti sol mwisho pale vale kedwa kiteremuka genge tu nina take over inaingia huko simple hiyo ni yako tuheshimiane hapo hiyo ni yako hapo hapo heshima hapo nini hapo lazima tungekoa sana. Akoza nini? Uh, uh, talking of that, pia lazima niulize opinion yako. Uliona ile contract uh, no nini alishare? Alikuwa amepatiwa na watu wa Madaraka Festival. Unajua jo Madaraka Festival? Hii festival ya US ile 
uh, early this year ilikuwa King Kaka na na Sauti Sol yeah. walienda 10 cities across America across America eh yeah. um, so uliona contract ya nini siku manage kwa na contract ya mundo nini kwa sababu mm. sikufuatilia sana unajua nadhani ya utaniruhusu kusema kwamba kuna tofauti mm. ya wanaovuma na waliovuma mm. mm. na music most of the time watu wengi wana believe ngo if a musician on anga 24/7 utakuwa musician yeah yeah na na ndo unaweza kuona musician anaweza kata 60 years anakwambia nataka kutoa hit song unajiuliza yeah, atatoa yeah. hiyo hit song mm. na kubeba generation ya saiki vipi mm. and mm. ni reggae reggae nakubalika kwa sababu reggae iko na mafans wake wenye wanaisikianga tu na kuna vile hata mtu wa 70 years ako chini ya meditation anatoa kitu nyenye na nawasi wake mm. so i think no nini ni wetu mm. Sisi tunamsikiza na hauwezi kusema kuna age fulani ya baada sisi nasikiliza no nini. Mm. Wao ni wasanii ambao wanaitwa waliovuma na ni legends na tunawapenda. Mm. Simple and clear. So mimi si wafuatiliange kwa sababu pia kwa sababu ndo ni kaya na hii group ingine. Lazima mm. ni mo. So no nini sijui kama bado anafanya muziki. Yeah, bado anafanya muziki. Hata alifanya Last time nilimwacha kiuza manguo. Yeah, uh, bado na uza nguo. Okay. Za zile zile nguo zake ni sasa za high class eh. Yeah, high bay. Class. Yeah, high class. Yeah, And last time nilikuwa na pia kwa America. Yeah, iko state, iko state. Ndio kawaida yetu babu. Yeah, so uh, uh, cuz ngo ta cool za jua contract yake. So wewe we mwenyewe ukimuita concert size hizi uh, concert iko na sauti soul na iko na king kaka. Yeye unaweza mlipa pesa ngapi pa show? Kama ni wewe. Na okay. considering no nini ni legend, ni one of watu walifanya Kenya music ka unajua I think penye saa hii imefika nikimwita niki kwa hiyo concert mm. kama legend mtam respect kama legend lakini pia sione mbona ni muite show mm. yeah sio kwa ubaya mm. time ime change na vitu zinasonga na ama wasanii wenye mentajia wote watatu mm. nadhani yao mwenye kidogo anaweza ku maintain pale ni king kaka mm. Mm. Easy shows headliners walikuwa sauti sold buda na zilikuwa sold out. Eh sasa umeanza za obvious. Si ndio? <laughs> Ninaka nini kuna mmoja alichukua demo yako ama wafanye sold out ya uh, America. Yeah, walikuwa like, sold out 10 10 cities wana, America. Kama wanaenda sold out ghetto. Mm? So ameshika tu kama hii ni sasa hii ni mtoto wa punk huyu. Mm. Sasa si punk yeye atalipa hata 5000 au 10 anaenda kuona sauti sold. Ian. Mm. Babi babu. Mm. <laughs> kuna za ovyo na kai uniform chao rais chao rais hoja mpaka rais iko karibu kuambia fanya gear fanya gear unachoma eh unachoma school mimi ni mtu wa rural 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 ya mimi kuja Nairobi karibu Nairobi kwa heri Nairobi 247 sasa nataka kuzaa kuna convince tu umezaliwa umebonika huko na hujaitoka kwa Naruro. Ya huu ni Kiambu County. Ni Kiambu. Si Kiambu ni ni Nairobi. Sio watu walizuaka. Eh dia anajitetea ni. Atiatete mtoto. Sinakwambia mtu mmoja amezaliwa kwa anacheza nini? Watu kwa chazanga bolo wa Kiambu hapa Jivanji. Back in the days. Ruaka sasa hivi una ni 100 bob kwenda 50 bob kwenda Ruaka. Na ni ocha watu. Sasa huyu ocha kwao atanaweza enda asubuhi na tunaenda kaa anapiga story na arudi mimi na wewe tuna need tao mbili bro yeah, na tukule tukule mm. ile mm. ni bro mm. ni dunia nyingine tunaenda for over <laughs> pia, <laughs> na pia uko na pesa ya njugu na yogurt yeah jo cuz na wajua zile yogurt za yabasha bro ya sepero mna tufanya ngama neno wamechukua maziwa mala wakapiga na fanta ndani Mm. Ati ndogo kuna kayoga tapa ka ka ka, ka, ka flavor flani. Unajiuliza ni maziwa mahali imepigwa fanta ndani mpaka <laughs> kuchapa. Yeah. <laughs> Unaenda <laughs> tumbo inakuuma kumbe ni maziwa mahali ndungu ame. Sijali. So fantastic. Yeah, did it is. So uh, uh, kabla tu dive in kwa entertainment, yes. acha tu rewind back kidogo. So yes. uh, the last time tulikuwa na wewe, tulikuwa yeah. tabonga juu ya soja. Uh, fame and money. Mm. na pia the power of money yeah. uh, so tukabonga juu ya story yako ukapatia na vile ulianza ku hustle ukiwa young yeah, so ndio chance nataka kukupatia tena kwa sababu tunasema uliji contradict ulisema at 21 ulikuwa na bands mm. at 23 ulikuwa homeless, ulikuwa homeless. so watu wanauliza ni gani ni gani unajua mtu yote ambaye anaweza kaa chini aseme kitu kama hiyo yeah. na aseme kwamba one year one year is a lot of you know like miezi 12 ndani mm, mm. today nitakwambia leo mwa Afrika 
poverty inaanza ingia mm. you are worth 100 million yeah but six months you are poor than even mtu mwenye unakosa paka chakula kukula yeah yeah poverty inaanza kukuja na njia mingi ya ugonjwa mm. ya makesi ya nini and you lose everything mm, mm. ni ulikuwa uko nayo yeah wangapi walikuwa nayo na leo hii hawana ni kwa sababu nothing is permanent in life so mtu ambaye anasema kwamba 21 and 23 i believe ya kwamba unaweza kusotewa kwa hiyo 2 years then ni mtu mwenye sidhani kama ameinuka kwa maisha yake yote mm. if you ask any millionaire atakwambia kuna vitu zina happen Mm. Na you lose everything and you go back to zero. So so acha basi tuchape timeline vizuri. Um ah. tukichapa vizuri tunaanzia yapi after Seiko. Yes. Sindio? Yes. After Seiko ndio samaga ulikuwa houseboy. Yes. So houseboy ilifanya miaka ngapi? Now. Seiko ilimalizo kiona miaka ngapi? Maybe ulikuwa mtu wa ku repeat sipi ah, today. <laughs> Sijai repeat shule. Eh, eh. Na Hakuna sija, sija, sijai sijai overperform na sijai underperform. Mm, mm kuna vitu sana za ndani kwa sababu nao na watch vitu nye naongea kwa sababu they can come back hunting me yeah. because uh, niko na niko na interest kwa politics yeah. and declare 2027 mm. and any time unaongea na kitu imebaki kwa internet opponents watazitumia against me yeah. but i can tell you uh me was born in 1986 mm. december yeah kwa hospitali moja inaitwa Mkumo Mission Hospital. Mm. Na nilikuwa ngana way 5.8 kg. Mm. I was uh, the biggest naweza kusema mtoto mkubwa kwa hiyo hospitali. Now if you go to Mkumo Mission Hospital you'll find my photo there. Mm. So ba- ba- baby wa, wa mwaka. Hujai kwa slim life yako yote. <laughs> And uh, why? Because nilichaguliwa yeah. ni mte ule. Mm the battle nimepigana nao kwa maisha na vitu nimefanya ni vitu extraordinary nye ina need mtu mwenye kwa ulimwengu wa kiroho spiritual realm yeah. to understand me mm. and that's why leo hii nikikwambia mtu nikisema niki story yangu watu watanielewa kwa sababu nili lose nikakuwa house boy nikatoka house boy nikapata pesa mingi nikanunua gari nika lose hiyo pesa nikakuwa homeless kwa span of At the age of 21 this guy seated here mm. alisimama kura ya MP yeah na kwa not even 21 I was 20 mm-hmm. I was the youngest aspirant MP iko kwa record Kasipur Kabondo with a political party called Vipa V Vipa you know Jana Progressive Alliance ni ilikuwa ng'a chini mm. ya Kalonzo Msyoka kama nini uh, nini party that was affiliated yeah, 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 mm, ODM mm. Kenya party mm. wiper yeah. I vied for that seat nikakuwa hiyo nimetoka kutoka kwa houseboy nikakikimbia nikaingia kwa hiyo nikapata kitu nyenye nilipata nika lose nikarudi nikakuwa homeless at the age of 23 what i've gone through in life wewe ukienda atakuota utakuwa umeisha kwa sababu ni vitu kubwa sana. Mm. Wewe unamaanisha the viewer cuz pia mimi nimekapitia Buddha. <laughs> mimi na poverty tumefanya mapenzi na kamili. I have overcome so many things in life. Yeah, yeah. And I've battled so many things. And I'll tell you for free, bro. Me ni tofauti. Me I'm supernatural. Mm. Me kwa spiritual realm the things that I see that you, you cannot see. Mm, mm. I have a third eye. Okay. When you look at me ukiniangalia hapa unaona niko niko wewe unaniona unatuona tuko ngapi Si tuko tu wili Buddha Sasa mimi nikikuangalia mm. pale pembeni naona kuna mtu mmoja yeye anamekana mmoja pale mwingine amekaa pale mwingine mm. amekaa hapa mwingine ndio yeye anasimama hapa nyuma yako unaona kuna watu kanda yako Si unajua ni tangoa schizophrenia unajua hivyo Yeah That, Good. Is, <laughs> that you will not understand mm. because only chosen one they understand and the people mm. wanaweza kukaa chini waangalie wajue huyu amechaguliwa mm. and this guy atakuwa great so tumfanyaje huyu 
alafu wanaamua battles zinainuka dhidi yako and what you go through a normal human being cannot go through what you are going through as a chosen person mm. so i choose to remain silent because i have a vision 2027 i'll declare a political a political seal that i want yeah yeah and i don't want to give my opponent opportunity yo, yo city ama takuwa, chance, at least tuambie city itakuwa wapi city iko kenya nairobi ocha sunaona so, nimekombe city ya kenya ah, but be, be rest assured <laughs> that i'm not going to run for president mm. because i respect the fact that william samuel ruto is my boss he is like a mentor to me i look up to him. i respect him i love him na na choose kwenda direction ya anaenda mm. because we share so many things in common mm. what he has gone through is what i've gone na so kikuwa chawa hivyo na chawa hii king ni mwake at least ana kuchotea ama wewe ni chawa tu na hakuna kuchotea kwa hiyo sana shida shida ni ya kwamba the chosen ones don't go for money yeah. they wako na mzigo kwa roho yao we have a burden mm. and that burden i quit service na pesa inakuwa service na it's like a call so we tend to suffer because it's a process and a build up mm. and uh, i can tell you for free yeah 2027 god willing mm. utakuja na hii podcast kwa ofisi moja kubwa sana in this country sasa so, so. mm. i don't want to stack kutoa makucha mapema kwa vile vita imekuwa mingi sana mm. honorable kasipol mm. i think nitakuwa his excellency mm. honorable is too small for me Mm, okay. Okay. Yes. Sasa, so, but hiyo hiyo swali yangu bado kuna vile umeihepa hepa. Ni kwa nataka kuona. Cause kuna I I cannot tell you what made me lose what I had. Na vile niliipata, mm. na vile nilikaa nayo, na vile sitaki kupeana. We did an interview here. Yeah. Na watu wawili watatu wakapick na wakani question, bro. Mm, mm. Unapata hiyo point? Yeah. I was questioned in a you how did you manage to make this and this and that na i'm that powerful nika wa control mm. so sitaki kuweka pale nje kwa public domain mm. Mm. but just know kaspool sio binadamu wa kawaida even there are some media personalities wamejaribu kunipiga vita na hao ndo walienda up kuvunjika mguu yeah kugongwa na gari na hata kiwezekana ukipigana na chosen one hata maisha yako yanaenda Mm. Mysteriously. So you are seated here with someone mwenye ni mtu mwenye ako kwa spiritual realm. We are very few in Kenya. Mm. You are very, very few, I think. We are very few. We are very few. Chosen one are very few. Na sama ni wewe na chosen one. Mm. That's why I began on all this system, na all these billionaires and I became the president of this country. Yeah. Very few are chosen one. Ni una jua nini? Mama chosen one mm. because yeye kuna vile yuko mm, mm. is chosen one so na niliambia hata there is a there is a kanini kajamaa mwenye ni online media stupid boy yeah. aliniangalia Mombasa kaniambia Kaspul I'll bring you down we made you the person you are and trust me you can record this I'm going to bring you down go nani kali kwa mekubali record alisema record this yeah yes unasema nitamwingisha mjini bro I'm mm. big. Sitaki kumwingisha mjini kumtu. Sasa hii nikitaja tu jina mtu anaingia mjini. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> Mike Mike na tukio oh, yeah, cup. Yeah. Eh uh, um oh, okay 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 cuz uh, Musa Magajo mtu akia moyo vitisho kai. So yenda meisha. Mm. Yenda anapata views 50 mm. likes kwa 2 days. Mm, mm. Na alikuwa anapata 20,000 likes. Yeah, yeah. You cannot fight Kasipol. Una fight Mungu bro. Mm, yeah. Okay. So nini um kitu moja ile pia niko sure kuna sauti asemaga jo huyu anajua kweli. Back in the days nikiwa radio ndio kuna najulikana kama the chosen one mu Afrika. Unajua hivyo? Buda. So lazima <laughs> niko na do show inaitwa the joint. Yeah. Like the, the, the chosen, chosen one. <laughs> AKA the son, the son of, of a king, king and a queen. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So, kwa gani kuna jisifu igivo jo. So 
And I understand you are the chosen one. Kusa mimi nilikuwa nasemekana nilikuwa na spread injili ya muziki wa hip hop. Walikwambia 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 ama wendo ulijua when the chosen one. Mimi nilijua mimi the chosen one. Sisi nilikwambiwa jo Buda. But then you are the chosen one. Yeah jo. Si yeah. si tunachukuaga ile. Na the chosen one imagine unatoka kwa radio na unakuja unaeka podcast na inakuwa kubwa sana. Mm. Sasa umeingia kwa list ya the chosen one. Poa poa. We are very few. Yeah. Tunajuana kwa vilemba. Mm, mm. Welcome, welcome bro. <laughs> <laughs> na nini eh uh, nimekuwa nikiona umekuwa kivurugana sana na TZ. Hii yeah. ni, ni 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 strategy gani? Cuz the last time tulikuwa na wewe ulijichocha iko like Buda mimi size nataka tu nifanye interview kama moja mbili alafu nipotele. Watu wasinisikie. Nakumbuka hii. Mm. Then eh hey, tuka tayari uka crank <laughs> microphone kabisa. <laughs> Unajua niliambia mm. mtu mmoja siku moja rafiki yangu. Mm. Governor wa Narok tulikuwa tumeenda contribution kwa church. Mm. Na mtu akaniuliza why do you donate a lot in church? And why do you do all these things? Kidogo tunakuona uko kwa kwa, kwa music industry unajaribu ku streamline, uko kwa sports unajaribu ku streamline. Una cloud chase. I'm on what what una gain nini? Nikamwambia number one, sijapata endorsement yote ya corporate, number two. Mm. Sija I don't make money yeah. out of all these things. Mm. But inafika wakati one day umegonjeka umelala kwa kitanda cha mauti. Mm. And then kama wewe ni muislamu mapadri wanakuuliza ama kama wewe ni mkristo I mean kama wewe ni muislamu mashekha wanakuuliza mm. ama wewe ni mkristo mapadri wanakuuliza tukumbushe Mungu nini ulifanya ndo akuone huruma akurudishe. Yeah, yeah. Wewe kasipulu utasema nini? nikasema nataka Mungu anikumbuke ya kwamba nilijengea watu kanisa wakuja waabudu wapate eh, amani kwa roho yao yeah nitawakumbusha ya kwamba nile streamline industry ambayo ilikuwa na cartels ambayo ilikuwa inafanya vijana wadogo wana wanatumia madawa ya kulevia wanajiua kwa sababu wame give up in life wanasema wawezi kuendelea na music cause muziki ilipi and hawakui uh, famous ama wa hit Nitasema nilifufua sport ika create employment. I want to remind God I did something. And one day nikitaka ofisi the highest office in the land that one to, after 2032 nita declare kwa nataka presidency in this country. Nitaka chini nitaambia wa Kenya wewe umeachi wataniuliza umeachi umefanya nini? Nitawakumbusha nini? So niko kwa process ya kufurahisha Mwenyezi Mungu na pia ya kujenga CV yangu. Mm, Nitawaambia mm. kuna siku nilisimama asubuhi nikaenda nikasema hivi Mtoto wa kike akienda ku record kwa studio producer mwenye ana record the next thing anafikiria tu ni kulala na huyo mtoto wa kike yeah. Presenter mwenye anampelekea ngoma acheze anataka kulala na huyo mtoto wa kike DJ anamngojea kwa club alale na na huyo mtoto wa kike mtoto wa kike anatumika kiwango kiasi kwamba ana lose hope kwa sababu akishatumika na watu saba na hit anakufa moyo anatoka kwa game kuna msee mwenye ni mkali ni hip hop artist ni msee mwenye anapiga ngoma kali lakini at the end of the day hajatoka kwa sababu kuna mweu kuna mtu pali kutoka Tanzania kutoka Uganda alikuja akanunua presenter na maproducer akawapea pesa akawaambia kwamba wekeni mziki yangu kwa rotation msiweke mziki hakuna mtoto wa Kenya mwenye anapata opportunity ya kuchezwa kwa sababu kuna mtu pali mwenye anahisi yeye ni King Kong commando kumfu huyo ndo napambana naye so mm. bro the chosen one ako kwa hii game not to seek for cloud ani afanye cloud chasing huyo jamaa anataka ku streamline na aweke kwamba na the process ni painful because watu watakutusi you will be i was body shamed i was nimeambiwa everything nimeambiwa uchi yangu vile niko Hmm. Hata sasa hii ana na check hapo ni kwa sababu anacheka kwa sababu labda kuna kitu ame, ameona mtu aliyeniambia baada akiona akiweka 1 plus 1 inakuwa 2. Hii ni anacheka usidhani no, anacheka bure. Um, Unapata point? Sasa ya jamaa amesema he was body shamed. <laughs> <laughs> no, people tell me enda uko na mapua, uh, enda uko okay. na tumbo kubwa, okay. enda uko wewe unanitusi. Mm. Wewe unaniambia kitu nye, inaumiza roho na mimi nimefika kiwango na kwamba the chosen one will always pay a price. Mm. Mm. Lakini one day watu watakaa chini waseme ai kasipul alipigania wasani na bro trust me take it to the bank when Tanzania wali attack Kenya watu wako wanalia where is kasipul na nika solve your maneno mm. inamaanisha impact imeingia 
leo hii una, una, una maanisha nini wewe ni Tanzania attacked Kenya Tanzania walianza kufuruga Kenya una ma districts na manini na bro tuseme kweli hakuna siku nye calligrapher maisi mama aka kuwa na confidence ya ku attack Tanzania before I did I I am very proud nilianzisha kuambia wasanii mnalala amkeni vibara hapa makofi amkeni muongee mimi ndo niliattack Tanzania mara ya kwanza na nikaambia Domo Kongo tuheshimiane ah calligrapher kaona akasema ah kumbe buda mimi naweza ku attack na sanyo ile attack calligraph ni save calligraph paka calligraph akainua mkono akasema pole unapatia point so bro na sijaeambiwa asante okay calligraph ajai nipigie simu kasi pool uli ni rescue Thank you very much. <laughs> Ajai ndo wasanii wa Kenya ndo hivyo wako. Mm. Unapata point. Ajai pick simu aniambie, "Kasi, what's up eh? Hii vita tumepigana, tulipigana vita nikasave ni, nini? He kept quiet." Last mm. time nilikutana na nani? Na KBO, KBO the nini? Mm. The bro. Yeah, yeah. Na nikasikia ngoma yake. Nikamwambia the next king. We ndo nakuplay sasa. We ndo mm. sasa king. Na kuplay sasa. Mm. Kwa sababu kibali toka kwa BMW akaniambia kasipula i hona you. Mm. Vita umepigana tumekubali. Mm. Wewe ni legend. Akapiga magoti nikamwekea mkono nikamwambia bless you son bless you bless you. You, you so unatuambia ulipata na bro kali. Lazima niulize hizi swali cuz Buda anajua itakuwa hapa staki eh, ni, ni, ni span spana kwe msijaipata na homsi span kwe yeah ile kutana na span mm. is a good guy and mm. trust me span is the next big thing in east central africa mm. so, i think span anauza mandai sasa hizi yuko na bro tumelalia gold nililia nilitoa machozi nikaambia span mbona unafanya wa Kenya hivyo Why are you doing this to Kenyans? Span aliniweka ngoma moja nikaona hivi nikaambia Span wewe mbona unakosea wa Kenya? Span is the next big thing in Kenya. Mm. And that is the truth hata calligrapher kaya kijua ya kwamba mtu mbaya, mtu moto, mtu noma ni Span. So unafikiri mama bro wili wale wamekuwa tight kabisa. Umoja ji, umgina ni mkali. Buda, mtiki na washina kiangalia drink yako. <laughs> Nimetoa hapo. Ni ajana nikiangalia hii drink na chose. No, I can say calligraphy is talented. Mm. Yeah. But uh, I also want to teach Kenyan artist. Whenever you see someone that ni legend mtu mwenye amepigania you don't need to give him anything. Mm. Just call that person and honor him when he's still alive. Yeah. I met Ken Ambani siku tunye tulikuwa tuna grow kuna mtu alikuwa anaitwa Baraza. Yeah. Watausi. Mm. Kwa Blue Band ulikuwa na mwananga hako pale kwa ile mkebe ya Blue Band. Mm, mm. I met Ken Ambani nikitoka airport ya Mombasa na kuja Nairobi kwa show. The actor. The actor. Yeah. Ali walk in. Mm. Mtafute ni this mm. Na nikaenda nikamhona, nikamwambia I honor you. Nilikuoch kama niko kijana mdogo. Yeah. Nikiwa mtoto. Na ule ni mm. Long live legend. Yeah. Wasanii wa Kenya hawawezi kufanya hivyo. Kama kwa pick ataona anafaa kenda amsimamie kiti. Mm. Nilikutana na mama Kaya kwa street ya Nairobi. Nilienda kwa magoti nikamwambia I honor you legend. Mm. Thank you very much. Mm. Umefungua njia leo hii tuko na kina shit wa kina nani. Mm. Msanii wa Kenya mwenye kwa pick hawezi kufanya hivyo. Hiyo ndio shida tumepata kama wa Kenya. Maisha yetu yote we don't honor legends we disrespect legends sanya tuko kwa peak tuna dharau ma legends na tunataka tukue sisi ndo sisi peke yetu we don't want to mentor anyone we want to be to deceive we we noma we noma kuna saau kuna watoto wanakuja nyuma yako but sasa swali ni uh, wewe kaka sipul mse wa 1986 yeah? 37 years old unataka kuchukua that legendary status cuz that's too young man unajua i'm not Tukibu... a legend yeah But, But unasema you want to be honored the 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 the, the war na ile mm. vita ambayo nimepigana nayo mm. na uchafu ambao nimesafisha kwa industry bro yeah na gharama ambayo nimelipia do you know for one year nimekuwa nikilala kwa different houses mm. including hotels mm. because mm. my life was in danger na na kuhepesha hotels wa industry wananipasu industry gani hii industry chafu ya Kenya ya music 
music cartels so wanaweza kudedisha juu nini cause radio is not radio ni more tv is not tv anymore internet is internet i will tell you for free the other day you saw Willie Paul watu wamebeba paka gun when you see at my DCI mm. cause my DCI at your gun wabebangi kwa camera footage wakiingia wakatoka na wakaenda the next thing Kenyans were clapping and asema kwamba jamaa anafanya kitu inaitwa nini cloud chasing cloud chasing mm. do you know it's an offense hata kupiga picha na gun nya uko na license nayo mm. mm. do you know that yeah yeah so mtoto wenyewe angekufa ingekuwa ni cloud chasing there are so many things that are happening in the industry mm. that in Africa you have no idea there are certain cartels when they take over today you go to gospel industry there are click nyo wanajua ya kwamba they control gospel industry na wameketi pale na ni do or die enda mm. kwa online tv there, there is a click kwa online tv nyo wanasema wakizima wamezima wamezima na ukiwashinda bado tena unakula risasi bro palpopote kuna involvika kuna pesa inakuwa involved know that death inakuwa hapo mm, mm. kama fuata mwa Afrika na uone kila siku mimi uongee ukweli na naambia watu this is wrong this is right this is wrong this is right kama hujaiona kwa maisha yangu haiko in danger basi wewe uko kwa dunia nyingine i'll tell you imefika pale penye wanamziki wananua paka watu kupiga tu risasi na wanamziki wanaingia sasa kwa uchawi hiyo kwa world yako hujui Mm. Bado nitakwambia leo hii. So uchawi wanafanya nini? Ndio hiti kwe. Ushirikina. Mm. Do you know the artist in East Africa that they have to sleep with their own mothers every month for them to hit. Eh okay. Buddha jo. Wacha hapo. Unyama kuchukua picha. Picha zingine za ajabu jo. Bro, you cannot understand this. Eh. Yeah. Now, let me take you back kwa sababu acha tuachane na Wakenya. Mm-hmm. Hapa nchi yetu Tanzania. Mm-hmm. Before someone came into the industry big time mm. and he became the king of east central africa yeah he was being adored by everyone na bado anakuwa adored na yeah. everyone tuanze unakumbuka kuna jamaa anaitwa alikiba yeah alikiba Yo. alipotea mm. na vile alikiba alipotea kulikuwa na tetezi ya kwamba alikiba is in kenya and he used to see him a lot mm. with governor joe 24/7 yeah governor joe is a good friend. Mm. I like him because he has a kona raw safi. Mm. And ukiangalia kwa kichwa governor Joe kuna kitu ya black sana. Mm. Hapa inamaanisha anapiga dua sana. Hiyo mm. ni ya kuenda kuabudu na kupiga dua na kuomba Mwenyezi Mungu. Mm. So yeye ni mcha Mungu. Alikiba alikaa sana na yeye. Juuliza alikaa kwa nini? Kwa sababu kuna mtu alimpiga na upepo moja mbaya ya uchawi. Alikiba akaisha Mashekhe ndo alisaidia alikiba hapa Mombasa kumtolea hiyo pepo nyale pigwa. And then alikiba did a album in it the king is back. Mm. And the album became big. During hiyo time nyana fanya king is back and is na me hit amechukua peak. Kulikuwa na matanga fulani ambao celebrity alikufa. Watu wote walienda hiyo matanga. You remember harmonize alenda kampa mkono. Nipe mkono tushindane. Ngoja. Hamu kampa mkono akasalimia harmonize mm. and then that guy came gave alikiba mkono alikiba alimpa hapa eh yeah. do yeah. research about that mm. any time zisa saa acha nichanue watu kuzonja kuna watu kama hii ana wa Fort Liagi industry ya Tanzania yeah, ya Tanga you guy you know. yeah, so um <laughs> anabonga juu ya kuna time harmonize uh, wamepatana na i think alikiba na pia diamond alikuwa kwa hiyo funeral Mm-hmm. So vile ilipata kile time sasa Diamond na Harmonize walikuwa wamekosa na kabisa. So ha, ha, apparently uh, Diamond aliambia ga Harmonize unishindi kihera, unishindi he, ki whatever stardom. Mm-hmm. Unishindi kimziki, unishindi Mwafrika, kihera. Bado hiyo. Na unishindi kiuchawi. Nipe mkono tushindane. Bado hiyo yeah. tunaonga kuhusu wale kiba. Mm. Walikuwa tight by then. Harmonize mm. was tight with mm. Diamond. Yeah. They walked in together. Do do and I'll research about them. Mm. If I want to take your life in spiritual realm. Mm. It's either through handshake, through food, mm. through this cloth that you're wearing. Mm. 
I can live your life and you live my life. And that's why unapata mtu ako na degree 20 and ako ako village ana inherit wanawake wenye mabwana zao walikufa. Mm. Jatir. Anakunywa pombe kama mjinga, analala kwa mtaro. Tutunyame baki nao ni kizungu fluent. Lakini everything is gone. So so uh, that mm. so kitu ya kawaida is not normal. So skiza skiza uh, the last time ni kana mtu tukabonga jo chai siku si challenge na watu wangu walikasirika na mimi sana. Mimi sasa kama Afrika huwa gana kataa sana hizi stories zenye za uchawi cuz naona gani kama zinafanya gawa Afrika maisha isipoenda vizuri mtu anashindwa kutafuta solution anasema nimerogwa cuz swali langu wa gani kama hii rogi yenu iko mbona kuna level life iki cuz mimi nataka kuwa nataka mrogi mkali kabisa aroge politicians wa Kenya kila mtu ameiba pesa atembee na gunia katika katika town Mtakufu. kwa nini inakuwa gatu ni mwaskini mtasema a a mrogi kuna politicians wako na wachawi wakali hakuna kitu kama kwa nini wasifanyie china nitakuambia nita kitu moja mm. mrogi mm. harogingi kitu ya mbali na roga ndugu yake ama kitu nyewe wako na connection na mm. and that's why today mtu mwenye anaweza kuua hata na akuwe ni rival wako na watu wenye wanafanya podcast kama wewe mm. mtu mwenye anakuwa wakili atakuuia nini mm. hakuna kitu mnaolezana na yeye number 2 nitakuambia for you to rise and become famous na usikuwe ukuwe tofauti na watu wengine lazima ukuwe tofauti pia kwa ulimwengu wa kiroho so naweza kuambia tuturudi back pale ndo tunikumalizie alimpa mkono after hiyo alikiba became the biggest whatever artist in, Afri- in East Africa mm. wakakutana na, na nani wakakosana na harmonize mm. the words that came out ya mdomo ya diamond alimwambia Unishindi na pesa bila mm. sema. Yeah. Unishindi na connection ya serikali. Mm. Unishindi na uchawi. Nipe mkono. Mm. What is it about hand? That every time you have to give people hand. Mm. You remember very well na ni travel to Mtwara kufanya show. Zandani zinasema Jamali faint kwa gari for like one hour. Nani? Harmonize. Mm. Lipigo ile upepo mm. ya kimataifa. Mm. Chosen one wewe sasa watu ni wamechaguliwa kama sisi ndo tunajua hizo ulimwengu za kirozi na kaje mimi nataka damu na nipatie mkono na jeuze mkono wake ni baba naambia hii mshindane yeah jo asiana tushindane niko nipe niwe mkono ya zari tanasha na ah hamisa lakini sasa nataka ya kihera sasa ikwe kihera hii anjuu hii anjuulize mbona unapata anga demu cute ako 35 ako na gari na nyumba na kila kitu she's beautiful everybody is like yeah yeah mm. and then apate mzee wa kumoa na anytime anapata mzee wa kuoa huyo mtu anakufa mwafrika atasema i believe kuna uchawi mm-hmm. na watu mm. there is a certain lady alikuwa very beautiful ako sawa corporate nini siku nyana pelekwa debt hemingway ama anapelekwa debt pale dina mm. yo siku anasema tumbo ina muharibikia na ribu yao Mm. Tusema hiyo sochawi. Sochawi. Alikula mm. to the wrong thing. Story. Atakula the wrong thing that's uh, the killer mm. type. Na ndipo tia guest. Eh ji ina ina imetu. Yeah, we're about to demo. Yes, yes. Mbona utaenda kwa familia fulani upate kuna watoto tu wenye wamezaliwa? Na wote ukiangalia mapua zao kuna kitu imefura hapa kando ni the same yote. What I can tell you mwa Africa. Live in your world uko vizuri sana ishi pale penye uamini hakuna uchawi ishi pale penye uamini kwamba life is not spiritual life is science or whatever uh, but, life, life is scientific kuna vitu siwezi explain lakini but spiritual ni ya kwamba mm. how do we even sleep with a woman mm. alafu out of kitu nyenye liquid ina produce mtoto hata wanyama ufanya hivyo ka liquid hata wanyama bones inatoka hapo mm. nywele inatoka hapo Nails zinatoka hapo. Kila kitu inatoka hapo. Hiyo ni hata wanyama. Sio kwa ufupi ni kwamba life is spiritual. Afrika. Ndii, ngono ni ngono tu. <laughs> ngono ni ngono shehe. <laughs> Za ndani zile. Hawa <laughs> <laughs> zile, ni za kitandani. Za <laughs> kitandani. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> i, 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 lakini una understand kwa nini watu kama mimi 
sitakaki ku promote hizo ideals za uchawi na nini because a lot of people lose hope cause wanajua gani merogwa na sisi nimerogwa na sipati mchawi ulaneza ni rogoa kama alikiba basi ndendelea kuishi kuna mchawi kuna mchawi ambao sisi wote tunajua na ni mtu ambaye anaweza kupigania mm. ni Mungu when you have god okay. you have everything bro you go okay. to church you pray you are a muslim mm. you have mchawi mkuu so ni maanisha nikiingia gospel ngoma yangu ya kwanza ikwe Mungu ni mchawi Mungu ni mchawi wangu Afrika <laughs> mambo za Mungu ni ndani sana. Hauwezi <laughs> kuelewa, unajua? Hauwezi <laughs> kuelewa, but all I can say mm-hmm. ni ya kwamba Kasipul ni muombaji sana. Mm. Si mkombe angalia hapo kana unaona kuna mtu mbona uone kuna mtu ona kuangalia. Niko sija cheese niko sawa. Niko sawa. Ah, Afrika hataki kuimaji. So it like imagine ni dem, mi uni mekana hapa ni dem ama ni chali. Awe ni dem uko na hapo. Na mimi nimekana nani? Eh? Mimi nimekana? Eh? Mimi nimekana chali ama dem. Ubekana boy. Yeah, so nikienda kuoga iko hapo. Ah, yeah, acha. Yeah. <laughs> Ikawa alikuwa beshta yako kitambo. Yeah. Umeipoteza potoza beshta yako. Hiyo <laughs> hiyo of course. Unaanza kuingiza bari? Hiyo of course nishapoteza beshta. Hakuna <laughs> mtu. Hakuna mtu ajapoteza beshta yake fulani. Waacha. Eh, eh, yeah. 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 so vita mm. Tanzania tukimalizia mm. ni ya kwamba tumeanza tu lazima turudishe heshima nye walichukua kutoka kwetu wametudhalalisha wametukosea heshima tungependa tuone wa Kenya wakifanya kolabo na Watanzania siku zote tungependa tuone tours za ambazo zinafanywa Tanzania ambao wasanii wao wanajaza ma stadium wanakaribisha wa Kenya tungependa tuone kwamba heshima ambayo sisi tunawapea tukuwaitia mashow hao pia wanatuitia mashow tungependa madada zao wakuwe wake wetu na wao wetu wakuwe wake wao oh, tuone tupendane haiwezi eh nilisikia ukiteta vile umeenda TZ ujapata dem buda hiyo ni wewe ah. <laughs> wala madem vile uko, uko nasema uko nasema i gara wala madem wakisikia i gara yetu gara gaz gara this gara watabambika sana kwa sababu kizungu yetu ni safi tako ho e i gara hebu kache ni so kama mwenye amenda TZ mm. Na amekaa huko kwa muda atakwambia you know like Nairobi ukikuja hapa hata mtanzania akikuja imchukue one day kupata dem. Mhm. Ana nituku simama pale street ya Nairobi. Wa kwanza wa pili wa tatu wa nne wa tano wataingia box the next thing watajipata wana date the following day. Mhm. Enda fanye upuzi Tanzania. Wanajipenda wenyewe. Mm. Vile wasani wao wanajipenda bro. Na Buda wao ndio liko sa dem. Una get your point? Mhm. Ian nataka uambie mwa Afrika. Mhm. Mwa Afrika kitu mzuri mm. na kitu mbaya lazima tusimame na ukweli. Yeah. Number one, Ian na nitarudia. Mm-hmm. Ni ya kwamba wasanii wa Bongo wanadharau wasanii wa Kenya. Mm. Whether we like it or not. And that's why hata collab wanatulipesha pesa mingi. Ila hali sisi tunawapea masho huku na tunawapea. Wili Paul anaenda kupigia magoti Domo Kongo. Please nisaidie na collab. Akikuwa pale kanda ya Tuva. Mm. Domo Kongo kwa impa will Paul collab. Mm. Picha tu yenyewe alipiga Nigeria na calligraph. Mm. Ilichukua calligraph six months paka akasema tuachapa vibare. Hata bado hakumtumia hiyo picha. Kama tunakosa picha, 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 picha just a mere photo that calligraph nana. took with diamond in Nigeria. Mm. Photo man anaitwa Lukamba mm. wa diamond halikosa kutumia jamali waomba picha for six months. Mm. Hakuwa imtumia picha. Dhara ugani hiyo. Sisi tunakaa hapa mwa Afrika. Eh, hey, wa, wa Tanzania ni watu wazuri. Then you are wrong mwa Afrika. You must love your people. I'm you must love that. your country. You must be patriotic. Lazima ujipende kama mkenya. Buda anajipenda. Unapata hiyo point. Kenya, Nachukia sana na ndio maana juzi nilichapa jamaa karibu nimvunje mkono na nilimvunja mkono kwa kuniita mjaku wa Kenya unanipimanishaje na wewe mwewe. Unapokea kechapo cha paka mwizi ndugu yangu ukiniita mimi lazima nikupende wewe mwa Afrika kwanza ndo nivuke boda. Watanzania wanajipenda mwa Afrika everyday watanzania wanajipenda wanacheza mziki zao wacheze mziki za Kenya we mwa Afrika unakaa hapa chini unaniambia kasipulu ati watanzania kuna vile wako no, yodwe, unakosea mwa Afrika babu. Inauma. 
wa Tanzania wanavuka wanakuja wanapewa watoto wetu mamimba hapo wanawatumia wanawadump wanarudi wanaenda penye wanaenda huko nionesha relationship gani may work between our Tanzania wenye kazi yao ni kukalkitu nywele kukuja kukatia wasichana wetu hapa wanaumiza paka roho tukiongea mnasema Kaspul anachukia wa Tanzania ni makosa mu Afrika hata yeye ananaona ni ukweli babu hii vita <laughs> yako ni vita ya kimziki ama ni vita ya kimapenzi so vita ya mimi na kwa ndani tume cross tukaenda kwa mapenzi sasa ndio e, ninakwambia Life ni kila kitu maadili na kila kitu. Mm. Mwafrika, how do you feel? Mm. You as Mwafrika. Mm. Damu na anakuja anachukua 10 million, 5 million. Mm. And yet tunachangia Mustafa pesa. 1 million tunachukua one month kuchangia Mustafa mama yake ni mgonjwa. How do you even feel? Tuko na best producer wa video mwenye amefanya paka Tanzania. He's rotting in the village sign ni mwendazimu. Mm-hmm. Hana chochote kwa sababu hata hajapeleka hospitali and yet bado kuna msanii anaweza kuja chukua 1 million na atoke nao hapa na shuke private jet ametoka bila kifua na ngia tu ah welcome to Kenya anavuta bangi na anaingia kwa inauma baba ni huyu ni producer mgani amechizi Tiger is in the village mm, mm. Tiger right now is in the village yeah nilisikia machozi nilikuwa naendesha gari nikaona Tiger in the village machozi mm. lenitoka tulikuwa na legend anaitwa Congestina alicheza boxing sana. God bless Mike Movie Sonko. Alikuanga the same people nyo wanam celebrate, wanamcheka Kikoko village. Tunacheka tu. Wa Kenya ndo hivyo. Wafurahishe. Wa ku celebrate. Ukianguka chini ndo anakucheka. Atomi sifa, mwanamuziki ambaye alifurahisha watu. Leo hii anataka kuchangia apewe microphone moja. Apewe speaker, apewe nini na bado ndo wale wale wanamtusi. Lakini Domo Kongo akikuja hapa, ah Domo Kongo amekuja. Cuz uh, Babu mna Domo Kongo, huyu Domo Kongo wako lazima umpatie respect. He's a very talented artist, unajua. Na ameweza kuguza roho za watu, watu wakampenda. So it's possible to love Diamond and still love you. Love Mustafa, Colonel I'll Mustafa. I'll tell you for free. Alafu Colonel Mustafa yuko na Tanzanian roots ama hana? Akumbuki akikuja, mko mnasema ni MTZ for free and Buddha. Yeah. Diamond is not talented. Ah ah, jibu question yangu. Mustafa mko mnasema hako na itago ni mtanzania kitambo. Angalia story, Google. Eh, yeah, kitambo mko mm. anasema kama Mustafa ni MTZ. Sisi tunajua Mustafa ni Mkenya, amekaa mm. Kenya so long as umekaa hapa na umefanya muziki za hapa, mm. tunakuheshimu. Nilikwambia enda Tanzania, nitafutie MC Gogo wa Tanzania unilete. Mm. Mm. Enda Tanzania nitafutie Waire the love child wa Tanzania mwenye anaweza emba dancehall na reggae niletee hapa enda Tanzania nitafutie span mwenye anaweza ku rap paka na kiingereza alafu unajua ni kwa kile wa Tanzania watasema enda Kenya niletee msanii mbunge niletee hapa okay, enda Kenya sikiza. uniletee uh, nini msanii ule ni cabinet secretary niletee hapa sikiza naona na ndakurudia mm. kuja hapa Kenya Mm. Chukua msanii mwenye ana compete na Diamond mwenye anaweza mba kama Diamond nitakupea wako hapa mtu hapa wengi. Mm. Masauti peke yake anaosha Diamond. Masauti tu. Mm. Haya, nitafutia harmonize. Harmonize tunampea tu ile anamuosha hapa. So tunakwambia ni bingu na ardhi. Tunaweza kuwa counter wote lakini hao hawawezi kutukounter. Tupende watu wetu mu Afrika bro. Let's love one another bro. Na pia tupende. Tupende mziki zetu bana. Tupende pia Afrika Mashariki budaja. Unaelewa pia? The consumers wenye na consume hizi content. Wengi wao ni wa Kenya. Go to Europe, go to US. Damo nakifanya show in US. Kenyans are 80%. Tanzanians are 20%. That is the reality. Nijua Kenya ni wengi. Unapatia point? Ama Kenyans are the people who are supporting Diamond. Kenyans are the people who are supporting the Tanzanian music. Mm. Lakini mm. sasa nyinyi tunawa support si mtupe heshima yetu. Tumeanza tu. I'm telling Baba Levo na tell Mwija kweni ready. Na naambia Domo Kongo be ready bro nimeanza. Nimeanza sasa. Lakini unajua pia nini? Nimeanza na. Eh, shehe. Utakuona je enjoy sana ukifikiria as you call him Domo Kongo kuna shughuli na wewe. Una in what world would Diamond be worried about? is worried about me. How? And I'm telling you right now why kitu. Mm. There was a day Jonijo mm. alikuja kufanya interview wa five people. Mm. Bahati, KRG, uh, DJ Shiti, mm. Kasipul, 
and CMB Cashman Prezo. Mm. Out of the four inter- five interviews, mm. he was called by this guy. To mm. jamaa kwa interview. Niko na SMS I can show you. Tuonyeshe, tuonyeshe. Mimi najua stagi za kuambwa tu za jehe babu, lazima nione mimi mwenyewe tu. So Diamond alisema sasa acha niacha nikupasue vizuri. Mm. Jo ni jo. Na usisema uli delete cuz hapo pia tutakuamini jo. This number mm. come come close. Mm. In number. Yeah. Who is this? Le yeah, naona naona. Jo ni jo. Mm. Je tuone. 255. Yeah, tuone. Tuangalie Now, message. Mm. Aliniambia my brother this is Jonijo. Himself. Yeah, uko fit bro. Uko fit yeah. brother. Yeah, yeah. Niko fit bro. Mm. Nime disikia vibaya sana brother. Mm. Ila nita hakikisha. Tufanye tunafanya dude. Eh. Yeah. Na mama bro, tufanye kiki hadi East Africa isimame. Mm. Now, phone call came in. Mm. Kaniambia na kutafutia mtu mwingine mm. afanye nawe interview. Mm. Na ukiangalia after Jonijo, I did interview with Simulizi. Mm. Simulizi wa sauti SNS Go iko pale kwa YouTube. Nilifanya kazi na East Africa TV. Mm. Nimefanya kazi na Star Time Send Star Time Bongo. Mm. Iko kwenye TV. Nimefanya na Bongo Training all the bloggers that are not supporting Diamond. Mm. Katasi of who? Jonijo ndo ajaribu ku ku cover up aliniambia niko na nia na narudi bado wasafi na kwa hizo interview nilifanya nilipigiwa simu kuambiwa ni kutoe mm ulikuwa umeongea wapi so hii interview kwa so, nafaa acha nikuulize domo kongo ananiogopa zi interview limeanza na wewe domo kongo sijamaliza hii interview kwa nafaa kwenda wapi kwa nafaa kwenda wasafi tv the interviews mm. zilifanyika zikuwa zinafanyika interpol yeah interpol is for jonijo yeah na jonijo was in wasafi mm left wasafi mm. na is going back to wasafi mm. so anything that he does he has to consult domo kongo mm. mm. like ian right now mm. ian nini mabeshte mnakaanga hivi yeah. ian haezi kufanya kitu kama tumekosana na wewe yeah, yeah. sababu at the end of the day you cannot be a friend to, to domo kongo your friends enemy mm. Mm. <laughs> your point? Yeah. Mm. that is the point so impact ilikuja juzi baba levo amenijibu Mm. Aya nilikuonesha. Mm. Kasema mm. kuchapa diamond na kuchapa. Wewe mm. ni mwe mjinga wa Kenya. Mwijaku alisema ule mtu amenona kama nguruwe. Mm. Those are mm. body shaming. Eh, shame. Hizo mm. ni umbwa za diamond. Mm. Sasa mimi siongi na umbwa. Nataka kupiga maumbwa paka mm. nipate mwenye umbwa. Mwenye umbwa ni yeye. Let me tell you. Sawa so, chao Mimi ndo dawa ya diamond. Number one mm. Number two I will make sure If he doesn't do kitu nyetu memwambia aheshimu wasanii wetu kwa kuwapeleka huko mziki zao zichezo rotation kwa hiyo radio station yake vile sisi tunamcheza hapa tuta make sure yake zimeanguka hapa andika chini yeye anatafuta karatasi andika chini number two, kama atachukua wasanii wetu awapeleke huko kwa sababu sasa yeye ana dominate market in terms of tours and everything kama atachukua wasanii wetu waende wa perform huko na kama atapea wasanii wetu kolabo Mm, mm. Bosi. Kaspul is here to stay. Okay. Alafu Kaspul ako na mambo mbili. Au mshindi, mimi ni chawa rais. Namba mbili, mimi ni chosen one. Inamaanisha kwa ulimwengu wa kiroho, rangi yangu iko kubwa. Akinipiga upeo na mpiga upeo. Atakupea mkono mshindane. Ah mimi nampa. Cheza <laughs> Acheza wewe wasichana wa Tanzania wamekataa kuingia box yako yeye tayari ashaingiza ni Hamisa Mobeto wema sepetu washakuja Kenya katika Tanasha hii mkono wako ndio itakumita mshtu wa budi <laughs> Mwafrika unajua zako ya budi aja unajichoza unajua <laughs> siku zote acha nikwambie <laughs> eh Goliath alitandikwa na mtoto mdogo mm. Mungu ana kesababu ametuingisha kwa game kwa nini Mwafrika mimi sina YouTube channel nina pata hela. Yeah. Mwafrika mimi sitafuti kiki kwa sababu nina ngoma natoa. Mwafrika niko kwa hii game kusafisha industry. Mm-hmm. Wenye wanatusi tusia nini tu vile mnataka. Mm-hmm. Lakini one day impact itakuja na generation itajua kwamba nilifanya kitu. 
I'll be happy si kwenye wabongo wanacheza wa Kenya. I'll be happy si kwenye kolabo ya Kenya na wabongo iko mingi. I'll be happy si kwenye tuna 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 tunaheshimishwa tuna tunafanya mashoto tunajaza stadium huko Bongo. I'll be happy si kwenye Mkenya anaamuka asubuhi msanii anasema kwamba nimenunua nyumba, nimeweka gari kwa jina nini? ya usanii. I'll be happy nikiona wasichana more than 100 Kenyan artist wenye ni wasichana wenye wajadhiakiwa. Nionyeshe leo artist wawili wa tano. Name them 10 wenye wako ni wasichana na wako kwa industry. Utatafuta utachoka. Wako Why? Sete wana talent. Wamefanyiwa vitendo. Mm. Okay. But, but still hapa tuna blame AJTZ for something happening in Kenya. Nitakwambia Domo Kongo played a very big role kwa kuchukua ma presenter na ma producer wenye wako na akili fupi kama mkia ya nguruwe. Mm. Akaenda nao kitanda moja akawaonga. Na ma presenter wako leo hii wanapiga makofi wakisema kwamba ni legends. Ma presenter kana. I'll tell you for free. December coming December. Mm. Uh, niko prepared kwa sababu I'm going to face a lot of issues in terms of kupigwa vita ya kutafutana na vita paka ya kisheria i'm going to name them one by one i came into this industry not because nataka kutafuta kiki kufanya investigation na kujua vitu nyenye zimekuwa zikiendelea na, laki... file imejaa nyumba na ngoja tu tarehe after birthday yangu ndo nalipua mm. cartels wenye kwa industry lakini ujona hiyo message hiyo message yako ya ya TZ imesema tuendelee kufanya kiki mpaka industry ya, tiz, ya Afrika Mashariki ibaki me grow. So inamaanisha nini watu wa kiki hapa? Kuna wakati kiki inafanyika hao. Mm. Kiki itafanyika wakati ngome nataka kutoka. Yeah, yeah. Tutafanya kiki. Mm. Na hizo zimekubalika. Kama leo hii tunaenda kwa ground tarehe tisa, mwezi wa tisa. Mm. East Saturday tunapigana na kimbi kimbi. Mm. Hiyo ni nini? Ni kumaanisha kwamba tunaonesha wa Kenya kwamba politics sio vita. Mm, mm. tunataka tuamushe sports. Yeah. Rudi back to his feet. Mm. It is acceptable. Zandani ziko acceptable. So za nje kama hii ya Diamond, hii ya watu ni personal. This is not kiki. Mm. Kwa life kuna wakati wa mchezo na kuna wakati wa kazi. Sasa hii sio mchezo bro. So, I, I, I boxing fight yenyu iko saa ngapi? Tunaanza saa 12 ya jioni hadi saa sita ya usiku. Mm. Tutakuwa na boxers kutoka Malawi. Mm. Watakuwa napigana na boxer wetu Okwiri. Mm. Tutakuwa na Watanzania wenye tunapanga tupige paka tupeleke boda kama wanapaka kwa rob. Mm. Na mimi nitakuwa na chwana na kimbi kimbi. Sangabi. Kimbi kimbi tutakuwa tunapanda na stage kitu saa mm. Na saa na dakika tatu Mm. itakuwa mambo imeisha kimbikimbi atakuwa anaongezewa maji kwa ambulance mm. kwa sababu sitaki kumtuma binguni mm. aongezewa maji kwa ambulance <laughs> na nimeambia wakuwe na watu kama 20 wa jakaranda mm. wenye wamesimama nyuma yake kwa sababu nitakuwa na nguvu ya kupiga tena 20 unajua vitango sana nimepiga tizi nyenye nikimazana kimbikimbi nguvu itakuwa mingi ni kwa chini ningeo kwa street naweza umeza watu so, so, so nitaka kupiga watu kama 20 hapo sisi kama <laughs> Sisi kama iko nini za tafutia tikiti at least tuweze cuz mimi najoenda naweza nataka kuona hii history yako kai inafanyika vile unasema Iko nini wewe na Ian mm. na wapea ticket Sasa si Ian unapata point mm. Na wanaweza kubali tu Lakini usikuwe karibu penye hapo pale penye nitakuwa napigana kwa huko kwa cuz mm. macho yangu kishachafuka kitu yote nyenye napata napiga sitaki nikuwe tena kwa casualty Nimesema waweke jakaranda mzima pale kwa kwa ground mm. Eh. Mm. Na unaweza kuona what impact nyenye nimeleta kwa kwa politics na kwa mziki. Mziki na I'm very proud that leo hii Kali can talk na anaweza kuninoka na Willpool anaweza vimba cause Kasipul ameanza vita. Wanajua kuna Kasipul defense force ina ngoja tu ya kuwa defend. Mm. Tukirudi kwa politics, do you know nimeenda Jakaranda nimechukua kimbi kimbi nimemleta kwa comedy na nimemleta kwa talent ya boxing. Na tunafanya naye Gaucho juzi na mtafutia sasa inaongelesha kaleke wale chama na sofa paka mm. kama anaweza ongea na either FC Leopard ama Gormaia aenda cheze mpira kwa sababu Gaucho ni mkali kwa ball yeah. Gaucho ni mkali kwa ball jina yake Gaucho litokezea kwa ball oh, so nataka kumweka okay, okay. akue three years kwa sababu sasa in two months time there is handshake mm. so tutakuwa na 
hakuna politics ya kutusiana. Mm. So Gaucho nataka kumplace officially aingie ball. Eh Omosho anawa nataka ku make sure ni mtu wa mkono kubebea tawi ile kimbikimbi akienda kufanya comedy nini tumuone kama kijana wa mkono tukimplace place hapo tutakuwa tunamtupia chepe chepe ya na kimbikimbi akifanya plumbing kazi yake kwange ni yeye kazi yake ni kuchoma choma hizo ma pipe tumemwingisha kwa kazi nuru kanga tunamtafutia kazi kwa sababu ni class 3 dropout mm. na kitu nyana jua tu peke yake ni upishi kuweka nyanya kitunguu si ungumu hata yana nafanya tunamtafutia upishi kwa hotel fla mm. hotel flani more than 50 youths wenye watakuwa pale jakananda natafuta sakaja nataka kumwambia sakaja kuna kazi mingi za kufagia barabara za parking za nini give these people employment mm. utaiona jakaranda tena matusiko na tunataka kutransform jakaranda to a next and whereby tunatafuta ma students wenye wame wako university wako colleges wanakuja pale tuko na speaker tuko na sergeant at term tuko well organized wana discuss issues nyenye zina affect Kenya lakini sio wamekuwa kifanya hivyo matusi bro Imekuwa ni imekuwa ni matusi. Mm. So tuna transform. So impact iko. I am a very proud man mm. natembea ninavimba kama kiboko nikisema kwamba hamtaona Mwafrika. Hii ana hata ona unaona ninaongeza vitu na hii ana kwa simu ni madharau tu. Mm. Natafuta ona. Unapata point. Hata 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 pata hiyo point lakini siku moja nitaona man celebrate mimi ananiambia school nimekutafuta town mzima nataka tu ni ku appreciate nilete 100,000 na niambia shiga iko mkono umemake kila kitu iko sawa. Kesho mm. mimi Mwafrika nitakuja kupigania kitu ya online. Mm, mm. Kesho kuto ndo 2032 nikikuwa president ah Mwafrika utakao unasema bana this mm. guy and deserve kuwa president wa inchi amefanya kazi uko sure sasa kwa ni kansolio bana kuna msichana mimi ameniamulia anaweza kuasha ni maliza bana wewe si hayo ogopa galdem ah zizi zizi of course ni na joke na joke tu yake don't go pa galdem akikutusi the best thing you can do ni kum protect we were taught that uh watoto wa kike na watoto wadogo ni wakuchungwa. Mm. Na ndio maana siku zote mimi sitaitusi mtoto wa kike. Mm. Mimi hata msichana wa kike ake, msichana akinipiga kofi hapa walk away na mtoto akinipiga lakini wewe mwanaume tutazinguana vibaya sana tunatembeza mkono paka iwake moto. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. 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 Uh, uh, okay. So hii nini uh, e-boxing fight yenu hakuna charity ko involved pesa mnapata nini na happen? Uh, boxing ya kwanza nyo tunafanya kwanza hata hakuna pesa nyo tunatengeneza mm. because uh, si kuna entry kuna entry na unaona kama Tanzanians they are being paid mm. Mm. ukuja Malawians are being paid uh, kuna hiyo location pal penye venue mm. sounds and everything and uh, itakuwa nafanyika after every three months mm. Mm. after every three months the more we grow na tuna grow tuna grow tukienda sasa pakubwa of course charity lazima tuta involve kwa sababu we have to give back to the society mm. and we are looking forward right now kutafuta wale ma boxers wenye wameanza pale ghetto pale unye uh, baha kuna vijana wanapiga ngumi bro inalia ti anakupiga moja ti inalia mimi nimeipigwa ngumi unye na mtoto mdogo nilikuwa mgonjwa two weeks so wale watoto tunataka wasipige watunganya hiyo boka tutoe ma ma, ma bok, uma, watu wa boxing waende majuu wende wafanye hizo vitu na tunacha talents so tuko pale na bado utaniona kwa football na bado utaniona kwa mziki ni nataka kuweka change nataka mtoto wangu dema kiingia mziki anaingia studio producer muangalii long ina fura nataka demo akienda kuomba kuomba interview sio jamaa anakuwa macho red akimwangalia mm. unapata na itakuja kiraisi itakuja kwa vita lazima watu walale sel lazima wengine tuwashika mkono Lazima wengine tu na babu mkono mimi niko sawa babu. Inatamba bro. Mm. Ah inatamba babu. Ukifungua mimi nafungua. Tutaona saa tu. Tutaona. Eh mimi ni mbaya. Alafu unajua kichoma si itakuja tu na kuchomea. Unajua hivyo tutapata watu kweli. Lakini sasa tunataka pia tufundishe Kenyans mm. wa kuwa na kile spirit ya kukubali acceptance. Mm. Mm. Tolerance. Ya kwamba politics sio vita. The reason why tunafanya hiki tuna kimbikimbi mm. sio tunafanya kwa sababu tunajisikiana tumeiva sana tunaweza chapana. But nimeambia kimbikimbi wewe ni rival wangu uko na ntusi jakaranda. Mimi nakufuruga huko. Can you now tell Kenyans that politics ni kama game. Number one, unakubali kushindwa. Nimeambia kimbikimbi nikikuchapa enda kwa media ukishatoka hospitali sema nimekubali hiyo ilikuwa fair. Free and fair. Mm. Mm. Na pia mimi akinichapa babu kwa vita hawezi jiamini. Mm. Nitakuja nitasema wapendwa Majabs zinanilemea na nikaanguka chi I live to fight another day na bado tutaenda mechi nyingine so tunaonesha wakenya na sio hata atakuwa adui wangu he still my friend 
so tunafanya kuonesha wakenya kwamba tukubali matokeo mm. ya kitu yoyote na namba 2 tupendane after game asa vile umekuwa hii time yako yote nimekuwa tukionekana na two interviews so umepiga tizi yote unajua vile boxing ni hard buda like <sighs> utaweza kusurvive aje hiyo time yote unajua vita yangu ya kwanza na mwisho mm. nimekuwa meshango hata nimefanya vita tatu mm. Na hizo vita tatu zilikuwa ni vita mbaya sana. Primary school ilikuwa ngani kitu kama saa 9 hivi tulikuwa primo. Mm. Na shule ilifungwa saa games. Mm. Cuz vita yangu ilikuwa mbaya, ilikuwa mbaya, bro. Ya seko prince aliruka fence. Mm. Alipatikana kwa kijiji akiongea baba 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 kwa vile vita ilikuwa mbaya. Mm. Ya okay. tatu mm. nilikuwa attacked nilikuwa anga kangemi. Nilikuwa mm. attacked kwa tough la hapo juu karibu na kwa jamaa anaitwa Maera. Mm nikaingia kwa kabush fulani hapo karibu na mountain view nikamwambia mimi sipiga nanga kwa ta kujeni huko kwa giza na vile aliingia kwa giza kwa unasikia tu meno mimi sija sasa hii anakinikosea saa hii bro mimi naenda kwa sababu nataka kuja na jeshi watu kama saba cuz mimi vitangu siwezi pigana na watu chini ya watu tano hiyo kujichocha au na huwa huyu anapiga kana funga macho bwana tunajua acha tu huyu na huwa Yeah, like, <laughs> okay, mimi nilitaka na yeye baadaye ukiwa hosi. Ushaenda kumuona kama amekimbizwa. Sikio leo na kwa pia. Lakini I hope utapata, utaona opponents wengi. Simesema unaona watu. Ah mimi nimesema mkuja na yeye mkae huko juu. Mkuja na yeye mkae huko juu. Mwa Afrika kwa sababu kitu yote itakuwa kwa ring. Paka coach, paka nini, anything. Paka ref. Lazima ni ankishi hizo vichwa zimelala chini. Sitaki kuona kitu kimesimama kwa ring hapo. Mm. Eh. So nasikia vile yana na kuenjoy ati kama unaona watu wengi si utana kimbikimbi watatu. Kitandika <laughs> <laughs> huyu ngumi ule. <laughs> oh ndakuwa napigana na. Kimbikimbi kimbikimbi mwenyewe ujui ni nani. Kimbikimbi anaanza kuja na watu watano wale wa ulimwengu wa kiroho. Ile. Yeah. Abaki amekukimbiza vizuri sasa. Oh so ni siki hata ni stop to watu. Hata ni stop to watu waongezeke kwa sababu hata ref atakuwa na watu wake wengine hapo. Yeah. Watu kale sana, kale sana hiyo. But you sorry ya Gaucho mimi ni kusijua hiyo jina ilitoka na. Gaucho ni player mkali sana bro. Mhm. Gaucho alicheza ball ndo jina Gaucho ikatoka politics iliingia tu alitoka kwa 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 kwa, kwa game mm. ndo akaingia kidogo na naka mrescue rawa kama mrescue akaingia sasa kwa ridhe mm. but lakini Gaucho ni player mkali sana akaanza za timu gani before alikuwa ngo kwa masoni soni huko oh awendo awendo amecheza ball sana hiyo jina Gaucho alitoka kwa grau so mm. watu wa ball wana understand Gaucho ni gani me i don't know kwa sababu mimi si watch ball Ronaldinho Gaucho bas mm. bas okay okay yeah. you siko na juu aje you siko na juu okay well see tuna look forward to yo yo vita si ndio yeah na yeah it's my look yeah, forward yeah, tuna look forward to yo vita uh, na tafuta posters za si unaona research <laughs> mm. na tafuta kama kuna poster ya Kasipul Mm. Mm. Uh, 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 na posta mimi ukienda kwa ukienda na kwa handle yangu ya nini eh, kuna pali una spa ya siwezi kutaka kuonesha tactics penye na spa unafanya na... bro vita unashangi tactics unajua nini anaanza na nani kimbikimbi anaanza kwenda kuangalia vile narusha mangumi hivyo aenda aone tactics zangu so si anikienda alionekana jakaranda akisema piga tumbo ya kaspul shwa omosha na mtrain Mm. Nikasema wewe nitaua. Mm. Yeye unapaswa mm. kichwa. Hata mm. sikio nataka ni at least niko na malaria kidogo ndo nipigane. Kwa vile nikuwa na nguvu nyingi niko nao nita supercharge. Mm. Nita nitapaswa kichwa. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so buda kwa utapeleka hospitalini tutakakukucheki usijali. Tutakuja na mawa tukuja na maua gani? Unajua <laughs> mimi kama mfuasi sugu na kama chao rais. Mm. Nimefundishwa kwamba unakubali ushindi. Mm. Na uongee chu tofauti. Akimana nikunipiga, sinakubali tu. Mm. The worst that can happen ni nini? Mm. Au utaweza kuchapa interview for a few weeks. That's the worst that can happen. Kwa hiyo inaweza kwa hard sana kikuja kwa ule demo. No need to defend kichwa yangu sana. Hapa. Ndo na defend. Angole demo pasta kanyari ile omdomo kando ndio kujalikona itajimira kwa leo pasta kanyari kurudisha mdomo 
Eh, kurudisha mdomo. Eh, mm. but uh, of course we ni mtu wetu so all the best. Ka nataka mtu ashinde na nataka ushinde, si unajua. Eh, mm. so, Buddha, best of luck jo. Mungu anasaidia bro. Mambo mm. ni matatu hiyo siku. Mm. Na hiyo mambo matatu. Mm. Tuta manage kutatua mambo ni hiyo uh, vile ilisemekana mtu ame Kenya. Mm. Mwenye ni mfisadi. Mm. Mtu aende jela mwenye ni mfisadi. Mm. Na kama ikikuwa ngumu sana aende kanisani atubu dhambi zake watume roho yake mbinguni in terms of vai kliniwe na arudisha mali ya umma okay sawa sawa so mm-hmm. imekuwa ni episode 212 tukisema like subscribe hit the notification button tell a friend to tell a friend tukimalizia 212 tukisema ekonene ekonene, ekonene.